Christ Jesus is Savior and Lord by Duodu Henry Apiacorang. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 11, Apostle Paul states, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Most Christians are serving Jesus Christ in ignorance because they don't know his personality. People are using the titles of Christians to undermine the faith of Christianity. People disregard and disrespect Christianity because they don't know Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a lamb and a lion. Most people are playing with Jesus Christ because they see him to be a loving father. Jesus is a loving father but he also has a different nature. Jesus is not only your Savior but your Lord. He died for our sins and rose on the third day for our justification. He arose from the dead because he has power over death, secondly to judge us and thirdly to reward us, that is, the faithful ones. Jesus came as a Savior and he is coming back as a judge. You hear people saying, I will sin and ask for forgiveness. This is total deception because you may die in the process. Sin opens a channel for satanic forces to attack without permission. How can you intentionally work against your neighbor and call yourself a Christian? Jesus is Lord over your family, job, education and in every aspect of your life. You cannot mock God because he is not a man to lie. Ananias and Sapphira died because they willfully blasphemed the name of the Holy Spirit. They were under the grace dispensation yet they died. Don't use the grace as a license to sin and work evil against your neighbor. Jesus Christ saved Apostle Paul because he fought the Christians out of ignorance. The grace of God located him. He became blind for three days because he was fighting Jesus Christ. Paul taught, he was fighting the Christians. He did not know that he was fighting Jesus Christ. You may think you are paying back the person who fought you but know that you are fighting Jesus Christ. The cars, airplanes, mansions, ships will turn into fire one day. Don't hide under the shades of Christianity and work evil against your neighbors because God is watching you. Everything is open in the sight of God. You can hide from your neighbors but you cannot hide from God. Don't limit the faith of baby Christians by your actions and your ignorance because God is a righteous judge, he weighs all our actions. Don't cover your face with Christianity and work evil against your neighbor because your cup will be full one day. God may spare you today but know that one day, you will stand before the judgment seat of Christ and recount your life and the gift he gave you. Don't use your temporal wealth and connections to destroy the life of others. The angel of the Lord struck Herod and worms came to feed on his corpse because he exalted himself above God. Don't fool God with your limited knowledge and experience you have gained about him. You cannot understand God by your experience and your wisdom because his ways and thoughts differ from our thoughts. If Jesus is your Lord, will you intentionally work evil against your neighbor and cause pain, confusion and hatred in the community? Keep up with the evil deeds, a day is coming when the Lord will pour out his wrath upon you. If Jesus Christ is your Lord, then decide to walk within his steps because he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings.